Oh, let me uh, let me just give you what uh, I would consider a perfect answer. And uh, let me also point out that um, I don't expect you to get a hundred. So uh, if you lost a point or two, uh, that's not too serious. Uh, but part B, um, explain the meanings of A, B, and T. And uh, let me just uh, write down the model here. Y equals C plus I plus G. This is your equilibrium condition. Uh, consumption is a linear function of disposable income. Y minus T is a disposable income. And you have this tax equation where uh, tax revenue collected, capital T, is just proportional to income. Okay. And you are given the following information about the parameters. A is greater than zero. B is between one and zero. And T is between one and zero. Okay. Now here, Brittany, is what I would regard as a perfect answer. Um, this parameter A uh, goes by the name of uh, autonomous consumption. But if you just said that, that's not enough because sometimes you can memorize the phrases but really not know what they mean. Okay. So uh, you should say A is autonomous consumption. which is uh, the level of consumption that uh, consumers would have if their disposable income were zero. Okay, see if y minus t is zero, there's no disposable income, a would be the level of consumption. Okay. And um, another way of um, explaining this uh, parameter A would be to use a graph. Suppose you measure disposable income on the horizontal axis and you measure C on the vertical axis. Then you could see uh, consumption is just a linear function of disposable income. So it would be this uh, vertical intercept right here. And uh, the slope of this would be what? What is the slope of that going to be? B, okay. which we want to talk about next. So A is the vertical intercept. Uh, B is just the slope. Uh, B goes by the name of the marginal propensity to consume. And as I said, it's just the slope of this consumption function. And in words, what it is is uh, if consumers have an additional dollar of national income, they would spend this fraction B on consumption. For every extra dollar of income they have, they will spend this fraction B of it uh, on consumption. Say if B were 0.8, then it would mean if a national income went up by a dollar, consumption would go up by 80 cents. Okay. And then finally, this uh, parameter T is the tax rate. Notice it's between zero and one. Uh, and again, we could look at this graphically. Here's Y 
here is t. This uh, tax equation is just a straight line coming out of the origin with a slope of little t. And in words, uh, for every extra dollar of income, tax revenue will increase by little t. So if t is 0.2, if income goes up by a dollar, then tax revenue will go up by 20%. Just the marginal tax rate. 